now let us solve some mathematical we have looked at it graphically some problem we will solve graphically and then we will derive the mathematical way to solve the this cost minimization problem. What we have done let us say where production technology is let us say production technology is given by y or q that is what we have been using q is equal to k plus l. Okay. Price of capital is r, rent for capital is r and wage for worker is w. The unit should be corresponding to each other if we are using capital here per day then here r should be in per day term if L is here in the per hour term, we cannot have these two in the different terms first of all, if it is in per day this should also be in the per day term, then only we can add fine. So, how can we solve? We have solved similar problem while when we discussed consumer theory. Sir, it is a straight line, isoquant is a straight line. Isoquant is a straight line. So, this must come on the end points either on the x axis or on the y axis. Okay, that is one way to think about it and right you are right you are not wrong, but I will say the more intuitive way to describe and what is more intuitive what you are interested in you are interested in q amount of output and how you can produce using capital and labor and what it does not matter how many units of capital you are using and how many cap units of labor you are using. What matters is that the sum of cap units of capital plus unit of labor is equal to the amount of output that you need. Okay. So, now it is very clear that if rent is if capital is expensive than labor then it is good idea to use only labor and if labor is more expensive than capital then it is you use only capital. Fine. So, you will use only one of these two inputs in the rare case where capital and labor both have equal price, then only you can use the combination of two. Okay. Otherwise, you will use the cheaper of these two. So, let me make this little more complicated. How about when q is equal to a k plus b l? where a is where a is a positive positive real number and b is also positive real number rent is still for capital r and wage for labor is still w what will you do is it clear are you guys following me sir if first we would check on uh, we have to check on both simultaneously on prices as well as the output the simple thing that you should Huh. W R by A is greater than W by B, hmm. then we use all labor. So, right logic, let us see here, what is happening? You are in the right direction. To produce one unit of quantity, let us say if you are using only capital, if you are using only capital to produce one unit of quantity, one unit of output, how many units of capital do you need? 1 by A? I am saying q is equal to a. So, you need 1 by a unit of capital and to produce this output using only labor, how many units of labor do you need? 1 by b. How much is the cost of this capital? r by a. r by a. How much is the cost of this labor? w by b. Now, it is very clear from here if r by a is greater than w by b it means it is expensive to produce this output using only capital. So, you will use only labor. So, in this case what will be your cost? Your cost is to produce q units of output is going to be w, w by b by multiplied by q or q naught if you whatever you want to see. Why w by b? Because one unit of labor would produce b units of output. So, total if you are using L you will produce w by b and that is for 1 multiply it by q. So, what you are going to get q b by b 
and if R a is less than W by B, then you are going to use only capital and to produce Q naught amount of output, how many units of capital do you need? Q by A and what would be its price? R, R. Multiplied by R. So, in we can write it like this R A multiplied by Q. So, which one will you use? Minimum of these two. So, cost, cost to produce Q amount of output is going to be minimum of R by A comma W by B whole multiplied by Q and this is called cost function. This is cost function. What is cost function? When cost function is not any cost to produce Q amount of output, cost function gives the minimized the minimum cost that you would incur to produce Q amount of output. So, cost function is always going to be a function of how many units you want to produce. Let me write it here. How many units you want to produce? Rate of rental rate of capital and wage rate for workers. So, it is always going to be a function of Q, R and W. The earlier problem that I gave you, where we A and B were equal to 1, what would be the cost function? It will be simply minimum of R comma W multiplied by Q. Let me change the problem little bit. Now, let us say both two inputs are used to produce some output and these two inputs are perfectly complement each other. In other way, what it means is that Q to produce Q amount of output, what you need is A amount of capital, A units of capital, capital and B units of labor. Can you give me the production function first? Minimum of Think about it, think about it for a moment. Q by A comma M by B. Yes. Minimum so, minimum of minimum of K, K by A comma L by, B. L by B. This is your production function. Fine. It is very similar to what we have done in the consumer theory and we had derived we had derived it there in detail. So, let us not waste time about it. So, now tell me the cost function. Minimum of k by first let me solve make make this problem easier for you where a and b are equal to 1 into minimum of k comma l plus b, uh, r into think about it again. We have we are not using any mathematics any calculus the simple that you have to think about you are little bit in the right direction. What we are doing here? Let me write the what is our purpose here. What we are doing? Cost minimization. Let me write the complete problem. Cost minimization. In other word, what we have is minimize R k plus W l with respect to k and l such that minimum of k comma l is equal to q. That is what we are doing. W plus R into q. Uh, w plus R into Q, that is fine, that is you do not have any minimum or something there. Same thing, minimum of. Ha, take care. You may be right, I did not pay that much attention, but say th that is what will happen. Now, to produce, let us say, to produce one unit of output, what do you need? You need at least one unit of capital and one unit of labor. If you have more than one unit of capital and just one unit of labor, what you will have? Some unit of capital you would be wasting. So, we are talking about minimizing the cost. So, we should not be wasting anything. So, what is the most the cost minimizing way to produce it? To have the exact one unit of capital and one unit of labor 
and how much is the cost of one unit of capital and one unit of labor? R, R plus R w. w. And of course, if you are producing Q, then what do you need? Rather than one unit of capital and one unit of labor, what you need is Q amount of capital and Q amount of labor. So, cost is going to be Q multiplied by R plus Q multiplied by W or it is going to be R plus W multiplied by Q. So, C of let us say write it here R W comma Q is R plus W multiplied by Q. You can solve the more difficult problem on your own. 